Whatever you might think about the slightly startling name, the latest Fritz, Box, and we do insist on replicating that styling correctly because, come on, it's hilarious, does more than its jaunty logo and wacky, dated styling might suggest. In fact, it seems it's absolutely insistent on doing everything it possibly can. It routes wireless traffic, it routes wired traffic, it routes DSL and analog phone lines, it manages DECT phones, printers, network storage. Plug in a 4G dongle and it'll even provide fallback connectivity for your network in case of a main connection outage. You are entirely unlikely to need at least half of its features, but if you're craving a router with flexibility you've definitely found it. The real question, though, is do we want this in our house? Does that flexibility warrant the price? Are we really prepared for visitors to ask what a Fritz box does? Those questions are answered not just by the Fritz box 7590's wide range of almost enterprise level features, but by the fact that it almost keeps pace with similarly priced competitors in terms of performance and power. The German made Fritz box 7590 is, as you might expect, widely available across Europe, coming in at somewhere around 265 pounds. That's a whole lot of money for a router, particularly if you're not looking for more than its base features, but if you're administering a Soho, small office or home office, situation, or you're just really serious about your home connection, its myriad ports and possibilities might just make that a reasonable outlay. We're yet to find it listed for sale in the USA, though its considerably uglier 7490 predecessor did land on those shores, so there's a chance, and Australia is also waiting, expect a similar US dollar price, and the usual hefty Australia markup. We may have muttered slightly facetiously earlier on about the number of features the Fritz Box 7590 squashes into its small frame, but ABM has at least done a fabulous job of putting them in a small space. The new look design, which adopts a couple of styling features from its classic predecessors but chucks out the retro futuristic fins, is sleek, offers good airflow underneath, and can be wall mounted if you choose. It's also visually very different from most routing hardware, opting for a grey slash dark grey slash dark red combo that's uniquely Fritz. Box. This is a great router for VDSL users, including BT Infinity subscribers, or at least it will be, thanks to its support for VDSL 35B Super Vectoring. Essentially this is a way to tease up to 300 bit slash s out of twisted pair cabling, presuming you're on a short enough hop to the cabinet. No UKISP supports it at this time, but it's good to be prepared